Hello, welcome to Enbelab.com. Today's video is all about Kendo Grid. I'm going to show you how to enable tooltip on the grid and how to enable selectable. Here in Kendo Grid, you can simply add Kendo tooltip directly on the uh, row. For each row, you can um, enable can do tooltip and display title or description. You can modify the template if you want to add more information there. Like if, if, if you cannot display other information from this row, you can show it directly in this can do tooltip. And other than that, um, it's also easy to add this selectable you can tick each item or tick all of them or untick all of them and when you tick this row you can able to get the selected items okay let's get started so first we're going to edit the JavaScript for the Kindle Grid. Okay, so here we have this um, Kindle Grid, and using this grid, we're going to start from here and add tooltip. Grid the table that Kendo tooltip. Okay. Uh, filter is the one that finds where to show the Kendo tooltip. So, for example, in this grid, so how many columns we have? One, two, three, four, five. So, five columns. You can specify which, in which column you want the tooltip to be appeared. So, for example, second column. Then, all you need to do is td and child 2 okay and then second parameter we need to specify the width of this can the tool tip so let's say 100 px next is position So how do you like the the pop up um, to be appeared on the right side, left side, top or the bottom? So let's say right. Then the fourth parameter content. This will be the content inside the tooltip. So in this in this content we need to use a template and we need to define the template directly on the HTML or we call it template HTML. So let's modify the template. Okay, so this is the template. Um, so we need to create template here for tooltip. Okay, on this template, we have image, a title, and description. Later, we are going to add style for this. 
so let's save this one and let's go back to the JavaScript okay here we're going to use that template okay So this would be the um, implementation, how to get the um, um, data from the grid. So this, this would be the data item. And here I am using the blog template that I have created in the, in the HTML. And here we are we're going to display the description. and data item title okay so let's save the changes and let's go back to the kinder grid now let's refresh the page so in this kinder grid we are expecting that the kendo tooltip should appear under this uh, title column for each row it should there should be a kendo tooltip okay now we're going to add style so that we can properly arrange the the image, the title and the description. So to do that, we have to go to default.cpphtml and we'll add style here. Okay, so to do that, we need to use CPP style and then with plus CPP style, save. Let's go back to the Kindle grid. Okay, so we'll increase the width of this tooltip so we'll make it 50% refresh You can change the position for this one. So right now, I use right position. So um, let's change to top position. Okay. The next one, how to... Um, add selectable here so for each row there will be tick box here you can tick the item you want to choose and there will be um, another tick box here on the top when you tick that it will tick all of them without creating a program or creating a javascript for that okay so let's edit again the javascript so here, we're going to add one more column and they call it selectable, okay, and save.
see you don't have to create a program or javascript function to tick all of them when you tick the, the, the main tick box so the next is how to get the selected rows okay on that part we need to do some you know javascript function we need to define a function for this how to get all the items so to do that we're going to create another button here that says get item or get something like that get selectable items so all we need to do is we need to modify the html and add one more button beside create new so this will be the toolbar we're going to add one more button here so called get selected and then we need to define this function we need to create function in the javascript so we need to add here okay so get selected and the kinder grid item data and will display which item you selected okay let's refresh the page okay so if i tick this one and then say get selected so it should be implementing web application using c++ implementing web application using c++ if you notice in this function grid select each it will try to look all it it will try to find what you have selected on the grid so if if i choose if i tick three items it will show three pop up this one to demonstrate what are the items you selected but later on if you want to do some you know if you want to collect all the items that you have selected all you need to do is just put it into the array okay implementing c++ apache module c++ open okay thank you for stopping by and bye for now